Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this session, we're going to be covering some nursing math for 104, MAT 104 at BMCC. Today's video, we're covering currents, math for meds. Uh, this is the Dosages and Solutions book, and it's the 11th edition. All right? And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be covering some problems on page 9, which are number 11 and number 13. I mean, number 12, not 13. And in these problems, we're going to be dealing with dosages. So we want to pay attention to whether or not we're going to need a tab, less than a tab or more than a tab, which is the multiple choices for the answers. Now in this question number 11, it says if you have, a medica if you have medication tablets whose strength is 0 0.1 milligrams and you must give 0 0.3 milligrams, you will need A, one tab, B, less than one tab, and C, more than one tab. Now the correct answer to get this, actually the best method to use is the dosage calculation. What we want to do is we want to take our order, which is listed right here because we see you must give 0 0.3 milligrams and the strength of each tablet it says here tablets whose strength is 0 0.1 milligrams indicates to us that we have uh, an available dosage now here our order is simply 0 0.3 milligrams while our available amount is a strength of 0 0.1 milligram per tablet. We nickname this just tab for short, like a short name for it. So here we have a fraction who is going to be 0 0.1 milligrams per one tab. All right, this is our conversion factor. Our order is going to always go first and we always take the order 0 0.3 milligrams, which is a numerator, and divided by 1. We're going to multiply by our conversion factor. Now here we have 0 0.1 milligrams per tab. And the way this works, when we want to find out how many tabs we're going to need, is we know that our solution is going to be a tablet. All right? And the term here is what we're looking for. So when we multiply, we want to make sure we take this conversion factor and rearrange it so that the milligrams could reduce to, to just 1. So the mg needs to be on the bottom so these two can be reduced to 1. And the tab is going to be the numerator. So now the value of the 0 0.1 goes with the milligrams. And the value of the tab is just 1. This goes as the numerator. And what we're going to do here next is we're going to multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. 0 0.3 times 1 is just 0 0.3. These mgs go away. So up top we have 0 0.3. And on the bottom we have 1 times 0 0.1 which is also just 0 0.1. Now, we can't divide anything with a decimal, so the next step is to multiply the top and bottom by 10 to get rid of the decimal, right, on the denominator, not the numerator. We're just worried about the denominator here. So when we multiply the top and bottom by 10, we get 0 0.3 times 10 gives us 30. I mean 3, not 30. The decimal goes away, and down on the bottom, the decimal also goes away. So we got 3 over 1. So it's 3 over 1 tabs, right? So this is just 3 tablets. So we see that we're going to need more than one for this problem, right? Since our order is going to say we need three tablets to cover the, the dosage because it's 0 0.3 milligrams. Each tablet has a strength of 0 0.1. They'll need to take three at a time, all right? Now for the second one here, we have 12. If you have tablets with a strength of 0 0.25 milligrams and you must give 0 0.125 milligrams, you will need A, one tab, B, less than one tab, or C, more than one tab. Now in this case, we could just look at it and more or less know how much of a tablet we'll need here, right? Because 0 0.25 milligrams are the strength of the tablet, and we need to give something just a little bit less than 0 0.25, you see? This is going to be 0 0.125, which is smaller than 0 0.25. So we can already hint at the idea that it's going to be less than a tablet, but let's put it into form, right? So here the tablet strength is 0 0.25 milligrams. So what we have available is 0 0.25 milligrams per tab. And what our order is, our order is simply 0 0.125 milligrams. And again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We take our order, we put it over 1, 
And here we're going to multiply by our conversion factor. 0 0.1, 0 0.25 mg over 1 tab is our conversion factor. And we're going to flip this upside down. And we have 0 0.125, 0 0.25 on the bottom and 1 tab on the top. We're going to multiply straight across while our mgs go away. Here we're going to have 0 0.125 when we multiply 1 by this, 0 0.125. And on the bottom, again, 1 times 0 0.25 is also just 0 0.25. And this is in tabs. And so now we can never have a decimal in the denominator. So we're going to multiply the bottom and the top by a number to get rid of all the decimals. In this case, we'll multiply the top and bottom by 100. So both numbers can be rid of their decimals. So 0 0.125 times 100 over 0 0.25 times 100. This makes the decimal move two spaces, so let's add a zero and make it a thousand for each one. And this is going to make the decimal move from this over three times. And this top number becomes 125. The bottom number becomes 250 when it shifts over three times, right? 0 0.125. When we shift the decimal, 1, 2, and 3 gives us 125. 0 0.25 when we move the decimal over, it gives us 1, 2, and we add a 0 so to make the third movement. It gives us 250. And this is in tab form. And here we see that this is perfectly even. 1 times 125 is 125. 2 times 125 is 250. So it's going to be half a tab. So half a tab lets us know that we're going to need less than one tab, right? So our solution for number 12 is going to be B. Thank you. So right after looking at how we solved the second one easier than we did the first one, we have to go back and analyze the first problem to jump to our conclusion the same way we did with our second problem, number 12 here. So if we look at the question again, after understanding how the order and available works, we can see then it's a lot simpler to see why the answer is more than one tablet. Because if we have a medication of tablets whose strength is 0 0.1 milligrams, and the patient must take 0 0.3 milligrams of this, it will take three tablets to cover this because this is one-tenth and this is three-tenths. So it's going to be greater than just one dosage. And here we see one dosage only covers 0 0.1, which is less than the required amount. So our answer is simply C for the first one, all right? Thank you.